Are you looking for an easy to set up online classroom where you can use features like your webcam, maybe a whiteboard, a chat room, uh, and you can record everything uh, that happens on your computer and you can post it for students to watch later? Well, Zoom might be the tool for you. So in this tutorial here today, I'm just gonna go over and show you how simple it is to set up Zoom and to kind of go over those key features that I just mentioned on Teachers Tech here today. So first of all, I'm just at zoom.us. I'll put the link to this site down below. I'm just gonna sign up for the free account. You can see it's right here. But before I do that, I just wanna show you under the plans and pricing the free account to, to make sure this will work for you. You can see there's other options, but with the one I'm gonna do today, the free one, uh, host up to 100 participants. And this actually works for uh, any time I've used it for uh, teaching online. This has worked and had everything I needed and I hadn't had to go, go up and increase uh, what I need. But uh, take a look at some of the other options there if you do, do need more. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get logged up, sign, sign up, it's free here. Just click on that. I'm gonna connect with my Google account. Uh, I like how easy it makes it to do that. So I'm just gonna uh, click on here. You can see you can sign up with Facebook also, but I'm gonna sign up with Google and I'm gonna pick uh, one of my accounts here to join in, I'm gonna go and create the account because I have to create the account with Zoom. And that's how easy I've created my account now right in front of you and I'm all ready to kinda of start showing you some of the features and start to set up hosting a class. Right before I go ahead and host a meeting here, I just wanted to point out, you can see that there's some plugins that you can add with Microsoft Outlook plugin and a Chrome extension that you can add to it. Now, the other thing I just wanted to point out, is this works on your phone. You can download the app for Zoom and you can access it that way so people can join in a lot of different methods. Now, I'm just gonna go ahead and host a meeting and you can see I have some choices here with video on, with video off, and screen share only. Now, I'm going to do with video on. If this was my first time uh, putting this on my computer, it's going to download and you're going to have to install, but I have it on this computer, so I'm just going to go ahead and it should open up here. I'm just going to go open Zoom meetings, and like I said, it would be a download if, uh, if you haven't had this installed prior. And then it has my, uh, just my, from my hook to my Gmail account, it grabbed that picture, and I'm going to join with computer audio you can see where I can run a little test and I have uh, I can automatically join audio by computer but I'll just join with computer audio here so at this point right now uh, what I'm going to do is uh, go ahead and uh, start video at the same time so you'll be able to see uh, me on this one so there I am I'm going off my uh, real Logitech and I can enter into full screen uh, I have the green screen behind me just because that's how usually I have stuff set up uh, that's why you're seeing it like that but as I hover down you get to see uh, some other options that I'm going to go through and show you uh, we're going to start with inviting people because this isn't much of a class without having other people there Okay, so before I uh, just get started with inviting people, I just wanted to point out uh, this little arrow here. If you do have multiple cameras, you can switch between the cameras right there or the same thing with your microphones and just click either of these to turn them on or off. But let's go ahead and invite some people in or show you how to invite some people in and it's quite a simple process. Go ahead and click on the invite here. And what you can do here now, uh, you can go with the default email, Gmail, or Yahoo Mail here, but what I like to do, uh, I just go ahead and copy the URL of this meeting. So if I go copy uh, what it does there, and then I can go with whatever email, I can write an email and then it paste this link in, and then when they click on this link, they'll join. But do remember there is a meeting password, so this will make it a little bit more uh, secure uh, that to enter the meeting here that they will be able to have to have to get in there too. So that's how you would get people in. And when they click on the link and join the meeting, you're gonna see uh, them come into here where you can manage them. So I clicked on the manage the participants here, and you have some options right away. If you look around, you can see um, how I can hover over myself. I could mute it if I wanted to. I have some more options. I can rename, uh, but I can go ahead and click on that. 
and down here if I had everybody on here so as I get more people in this room I get a list of different people and I can quickly mute all or unmute uh, because you might not want everybody especially when entering the room talking at once but do pay attention to this more down here because with this more uh, you can see we can mute participants on entry so their mics are turned off which is kind of a handy uh, feature to have but go through and uh, and pick the ones that you want to kind of make sure you're managing the room that you want and especially if it's the first time for students coming into this environment uh, where you can kind of just make it uh, a better experience for you and for them too so that's how you invite the students and how you can quickly manage them when they're there and even before they get into the online room so I do love how easy it is to share your screen inside of Zoom. So if I go down here and look at share screen, and I'll show you kind of the advanced options in a moment, but I'm just gonna go ahead and click on share screen here. And I have some options. So you can see, I'm just gonna move back over to basic. I have all these different windows opened here. Um, if I wanted to share just the monitor of me uh, here, I have my messy desktop over here with a lot of things on it. Uh, you can see this is where I'm recording this onto Camtasia, but I can pick whatever window that I want. Even an iPhone, iPad I could share. What I really like is this whiteboard. So I'm gonna go ahead and click this whiteboard and share this. And you can see I even have myself still in it, but I can go through and add text. I can draw very quickly. Um, add, I'll just add some effects here. You can see all these different uh, tools that you can go through and you can save this too. So I like that interaction that other people are gonna be see the, this whiteboard, especially if you're annotating, um, explaining the process for so many different ways of teaching. And then when you're done, you can go ahead and hit stop share. Uh, if I move down, uh, I'm gonna click on share again, but you can, if you had a PowerPoint or Google Slides set up, you can go through and have that and share that screen and that's what they're gonna see. So you would pick what you would have. Uh, oh, if it was open, it would be one of these windows. Now we have some advanced tools also. Uh, you can share a portion of the screen so you can select how much you wanna share, computer sound only, content from a second camera. And I like this too, so you have five Files that you uh, you know if you're using Google Drive or OneDrive you can share those files right out from uh, from there to push it out to your students so definitely this is something uh, to take advantage of is the easy share here and when you're teaching and if you have stuff prepared you can go through and share those here uh, I'm just gonna close this I just wanted to point out uh, to you uh, with the different options here of how you can share with one participant can share at a time but if you go through through and click on the advanced option. Uh, you have a few different uh, ways to customize this to uh, make sure you wanna allow or disallow sharing from participants or do you wanna be the only one here? So take a look at those options. Okay, so if we just move over here, you can see there's the chat uh, one. If I'm gonna click on this and with the chat, pretty simple to use. You can just type your messages, hit enter, and it is on to everyone. Now I'm the only one in this meeting right now. If I invited other people in this case, right here, if I drop down, uh, right now it says everyone, but I'd also have individual names there. So I could actually send a person, uh, send to an individual person. So it doesn't always have to be to everyone. Uh, you can see right here too, where the files, uh, where I can connect with the files if I have certain ones there. And we have a few more options in here where uh, we can say whether they can chat with no one, host only, everyone publicly. So you have some options really handy uh, with, uh, you know, depending on the grade level you teach. And again, when you get them, uh, when you're getting them used to this uh, and maybe start them off solely with a few options, but give them more. But again, depending on you know your kids better than anybody. So just look at those options right there. Uh, but uh, another option I really like is the record option. So all this can be recorded and then you have those videos 
files saved as mp4 and you could uh, what you could do maybe put them into a google drive and give a person a link someone missed uh, the uh, someone missed it uh, they can go back and watch it later so if i hit the record you can see it's recording um, i can pause it i can start so maybe at the beginning of your uh, of your of your t of your lesson you just hit the record and when you're done you can hit the stop and you can see over here the recorded file will be converted to an mp4 when the meeting ends on it so you can go and get that file and like i said upload and share it after uh, gives the students another chance to rewatch something maybe they missed it and they can go back and rewatch that again so just a couple more things to show you before I finish up here. Uh, we do have some reactions. If you click on it, you can see you can give some applause or a thumbs up, uh, just to give a little bit of feedback. And then lastly, when it's all done, you can go ahead and click end meeting uh, and you'll have the option to uh, leave the meeting here. You can see end meeting for all. So I hope you like this little walkthrough of Zoom. Uh, again, the link is just down below here. Uh, it's super easy to use, works well. The video comes through quite well. Uh, and I just find even for the users, like I said, on their phones, uh, they can easily download the app, whether it's Android or iOS, they can join the meetings and watch from there too. But let me know what other things you're looking for that could help you out uh, with uh, you know teaching online and what other tools, and I can make more video tutorials for you just write that down in the uh, in the comments down below and I'll take a look uh, at the comments what you uh, asked me to create so I hope you like what you saw this week on teachers tech I'll see you next week with more tech tips and tutorials